Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and rescue video. Today we are continuing on with the campaign, and as you guys can see, our boat is ready to go. Now, with that being said, what we actually did last time is we actually added this gun to the top. Uh, it has an infrared camera on the top as well, so at night time we can actually use this. Um, I feel like before we actually leave the harbour, I'm going to extend the gun barrel a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, and then we can actually get out of here. So, let's do that. We'll get out of here, we'll do a mission, and hopefully everything will go well. Let's do this. Okie dokie! So first thing we want to do is we want to go to the auto cannons. We need to go to the light auto cannon and hopefully have an extension for that. I believe there is only one though. Uh, and I think it's literally just this. So we're going to have it be that long. Uh, and we're just going to go for it. Yes. This actually seems fine. We'll jump aboard the boat. Uh, we go inside. We'll actually sleep. Uh, in order to actually get some missions spawned. Uh, and then we'll be good to go. It is night time. Okay. So apparently the missions uh, are usually at night. We've literally done every mission pretty much at night time. So that's a thing. But anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves moving. We'll, uh, send ourselves out to the oil rig, which I believe is where it is. Yep. Uh, and this should be fine. Alright, get on the seat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, alright, cool. So the weather isn't actually too bad today. Uh, the other day it was actually pretty bad, but no, it's actually completely fine this time. Uh, the oil rig isn't actually that far away either, so we'll just get out there. And this time, we'll actually jump onto the oil rig. And see if we can find any boxes, so we get a little bit more money. Yeah, let's do it. The oil rig lights have just turned on, there they are. So, uh, I believe this is the oil rig we need to get to. Uh, I don't know what the mission said it was, I can't remember, but let's have a little look. So, uh, a boat distress uh, has been reported. Rescue three casualties at small oil rig to a hospital. Okay, good. So, we're on our way there. Uh, our fuel is actually fine, that's A-OK. -okay. Our battery's okay too. Yeah, we're doing alright. We are doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, I do want to like edit this boat a little bit. I want to make it a little bit better. Um, so we will end up doing that. I kind of want to add a crane to this as well. Because uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we got to wait for that. So, yeah. Anyway, let's do this mission. Get a little bit more money. Jump on the oil rig. See if we can get some more money from there. And then uh, we'll see what we can do about extending or making this boat a little bit better. Okie dokie, we are getting pretty close now. Let's go ahead and stop right about here. There we go. The uh, the boat is just there, but they seem to be in the water. <laughs> At least two of them are in the water, so that's interesting. Uh, we'll close the first door, but we will not close the second door, and we'll get them out of the water ASAP. Come on, one and two. Follow me, come on. We got two guys. Hopefully we don't get cut up by these things. The propellers are actually in a position where I don't think they'll chop me up. So that's good. All right, you stop following there. I believe the last guy is on the boat. Yes. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Let's jump across. See if we can actually get onto this one. I can't seem to actually jump aboard the boat, but I'll, I'll try again. Hold on. There we go. Excellent. And we can put this guy on the boat too. Yeah. Okie dokie. So now that everybody's on board, let's go ahead and put them in seats. Uh, we do actually only have two seats and one bed, so we'll use those. Uh, as they are, that is okay. Uh, and there we go. Alright, close this up. Close this up real quick. We're gonna go for a quick scout around the oil rig and see what we can find. It would be really, 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 really handy to actually have a flashlight right now. And, uh, I don't actually have one, so that's a bit of a problem. But, uh, we should be able to find them if we see them, so this'll be A-OK. -okay. Let's just keep running. What is that up there? Was that a bird? There's a bird up here. That's cool. Uh, right, okay, have a little look around, see if we can find a box. If we find a box, I'll let you guys know, but I don't know. I don't know what the likelihood of finding one is. Okie dokie, there actually isn't one here. I've checked everywhere, there is no boxes that, uh, will give us money, so we're just gonna leave. Uh, which is fine, yeah. So our boat is out there in the ocean, let's just jump off here and, uh, get in it, let's go. Okie dokie, straight onto said boat. Hello, <laughs> that's so weird that he's just sat there. Uh, but we're good to go now, so we're gonna go back, take these guys to a hospital. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and fix these guys up before we do that. There we go. Make sure this guy is okay. Yeah, he is. Uh, and we can actually just get out of here. Yep, okay. So, now that it's done, let's just go ahead and get out of here. The wind is blowing towards me, so I wouldn't be surprised if we did actually end up taking off. Um, we do seem pretty stable in the water, though, so maybe we won't <laughs> fly? 
But I don't know. It's definitely a possibility that it might happen. So we got to watch out for that. All right, we're already back. Uh, there is a helicopter actually landing, and it doesn't actually do me any harm to actually shoot that thing down. <laughs> I, I mean, we shouldn't, but I mean, there's no reason not to. I mean, there is probably, but it's not even moving. It's not actually moving. But, um, yeah. <laughs> It's not moving, but yeah, we've uh, we've just shot a helicopter that didn't need shooting at, so that's a thing. But anyway, <laughs> let's get ourselves over the jetty now, and we'll go see what kind of damage we just did, and then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll be good from there, maybe. All right, here we go. Get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. And get a little bit closer than this. There we go, and stop! Okay, excellente! So, we need you outside. We need you outside. We need you outside. Why did we just sink a bit? That's crazy. That is a crazy move. All right, do we have everyone? I got someone on my back. Okay, you, you. Come with I. Come with me. And you'll see. All right, okay, come on. Up the little ladder we go. The flashing lights are very annoying, actually. The flashing lights are extremely annoying. Now that you're being rescued, you really should turn those off. But anyway, there's one person there, and the two of these guys have just decided to sit around in the water. Why? Why would you even choose that, you weirdos? Alright, come on. Up we go. Follow, follow me. Alright, you're still following. Excellent. Let's go. I'm gonna show these guys the uh I'm gonna show these guys the, the helicopter and the amount of damage we actually did. Uh apparently it is actually starting itself back up. The uh, rear propeller is dead. Everything else is seemingly pretty much dead as well. Pilot, very much still alive. And I can't open the door. I tried to shoot the pilot. The pilot is still very much alive. All right, excellent. Well, anyway, that's all good. Let's go ahead and heal this guy. I might have shot her, actually. <laughs> I might have shot them by accident. But anyway, the helicopter I don't think we'll ever be able to take off. So that's a thing. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and drop these guys off. Hopefully get quite a lot of money for them. And that'll be excellent. Nice. We got an extra six grand. That's really good. And now we are leaving. Yes. All right, cool. So uh, somebody did actually come up with a pretty cool idea in the previous video. Uh, I did think of it myself uh, straight after the previous video as well. Uh, it's essentially, we actually need to be able to reload the gun on the roof, right? And the way that I said I was going to do it is I was going to climb up there. However, the way we should actually do it is we should just have a little hatch in the ceiling uh, that we can open up and... Um, yeah, be able to sort of refill it from. Uh, with that being said, though, I'm not so sure this will work, but we'll see. So if I put that there and we spawn it in, let's go see if we can actually open it properly. And if we can, that's excellent. So we'd open it like this. We'd refill the ammo there, close it back up. Excellent. Okay, with that being said, uh, we also need to be able to get to these guys. So from there backwards to about there. Okay, excellent. We need a hatch. Yeah, but it's going to be a sliding hatch. There we go. Non-electric sliding hatch. Pop this in here so that it works. Uh, and that should be good, I guess. So we actually need to put it, like, there? I think right there. Okay, so we should be able to open up the door. Uh, maybe the other way around, actually. Okay, so we need it, like, this side, like that. And we need to put it there. Okay, excellent. That's good. That is actually perfect. So now, in theory, we can actually open up that side. We need to do the same on the other side. So, do this again. Um, both sides. Yes. Delete this all the way down to here. Okay, excellent, I think. Yeah, good. Something like this. Go ahead and put the hatch in just like so. And then that should work? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, put this in here. Do this. Like so, excellent, and why isn't it working on this side? Do I need to do the same thing? There we go. Alright, now it should be good. Let's go see if it's waterproof to begin with, and also see if we can actually get to both boxes, because I get two ammunitions on the outside. So I would open this, I'd be able to get to the top one and the bottom one, and then same with this side. Top one and bottom one. Yeah, we can get to both. That's very nice, okay, excellent. Close it from there, close it from here. That's good.
Okie dokie, the other thing that I'm actually contemplating doing, and the other thing that I am actually going to do is, I'm going to grab another one of these, uh, we are going to put it towards the back end, uh, probably around here, like this, oh, I need it in a position where it doesn't really interrupt anything, if that makes sense, but it also just works, so delete these, put it in there like, like this, uh, and I need an anchor, so we're just going to have an anchor on both sides, uh, so that we can definitely anchor this thing to the seabed. Just in case anything happens. Okay, so grab a pivot real quick. Pivot. Yes. Uh, go ahead and do this. There we go. Excellent. Get ourselves a cable. Uh, anchor thingamabobby. One of these. Cable anchors. Good. Put it right there. Actually. Uh, do I want to put it like this? I'll put it like this for now. We can delete this. Uh, and we can attach a mag hole to there. That's easy peasy. Bam. Uh, we then just connect this to the mag hole. Connect this to... Do I actually connect this to this? No, of course not. Of course I don't. I need buttons now, though. Buttons. Here we go. Uh, and these buttons are actually going to be on this side. So we'll just do one, two, three. And they'll go right there. One will be up. Uh, this one. Up. This one will be down. And then this one will be mag on. On slash off. There we go. So mag on slash off. They're going to go in the same place on the other side uh, for all of them. So down and then up. There we go. All right. So now I just need all of these to be connected. So up needs to go to up. You guessed it. That's pretty crazy. Do the same thing on this side. So up goes to up. Down goes to down. Uh, this goes to here. And this goes to here. Okay. That should be everything. So attach all the electricity to these guys. Same to there. Same to there. Same to there. Attach this down to there, sure. Connect all of these guys together as well. Connect this to there, also to there, to there, and I'll do it this way. All right, excellent. So all of that should actually be connected together now, which is very nice. We're going to connect those two to each other. And we're also, just because I, I forgot last time, we're going to replace the these with these. There you go. So they're filters instead of rams. I think that'll work. Okay, excellent. So now that we've done that, let's go check if they do work. Jump aboard. There you go, chuck it overboard. Oh, <laughs> hang on a second. It's not actually connected via a rope yet, so do that. There we go, a rope to there, a rope to there, do it. Okie dokie, awesome. And then we chuck it overboard. We say down, turn it on, and see what happens. I would have expected it to have hit the ground by now and actually turned on, but it doesn't appear that it has actually turned on. I've done something wrong. Okay, right, so the, the reason that wasn't working is because I didn't actually do the, uh, the logic on this bit, but that's okay. So, throw it over the side. There we go, it does actually work now. So, down. Let's go ahead and lower it till it hits the floor. We'll hear it. There we go, and now if we press up. Yes, it's totally working. It's dragging this side of the boat down. That's excellent. Nice. Alright, the other thing that I actually want to do today as well is, I need a bilge pump, so I need one of these, and it's actually going to go on the roof right about, let's say here, uh, yes, okie dokie, we're going to get a fluid pot, and that's going to go literally directly on the top, like so, oh, it can't, it can't fit there, oh, that's annoying, well, we'll put it right here like this, and we'll move this around till it fits to there, so actually, um, do that. And there we go. Actually, that's in, so we need it the other way around. Alright, so put this. I'm confused. I think I need it like this. So this is in. Yeah, there we go. Uh, delete this little bit right here. Get ourselves another fluid port, like this one. Put it in the ceiling like so. Attach those together, so pipes. Here we go. Pipe that directly into there. And there we go. That one's already connected. So essentially what this is, is a pump to empty, empty this of water. Uh, because the likelihood of us getting water in here again is quite high, so we'll do that. Um, we can also just grab another one of these. There we go. There is a different way of doing this as well. There's a easier way. But for now, this is actually completely fine. So attach that to there. Uh, go ahead and attach B. Is it B? I think it's B that we need. Yeah, B goes to here. So B goes to there. 
Uh, A goes to a fluid level. Level. Fluid. Uh, meter. It's a meter. There we go. So put this inside of this room somewhere. I'm actually opting to put it right next to this one. There we go. Excellent. We'll paint these in real quick. Bam, bam. And the level goes to A. There we go. Excellent. And then this on goes to there. And then the electricity goes to here. And that should all work now. Excellent. Good. Okie dokie. So now if we actually get water inside of our bridge, we can actually empty it and it will automatically empty, which is perfect. Uh, and that means that we've actually got a very serviceable boat now. Uh, and that's all excellent, actually. Okie dokie. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and go outside. We'll actually drop the anchors down. There we go. Down and down. Turn the mag all on. Turn the mag all on. Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> hang on a second, this one's still on the boat. Drop that off. Wait, the mag all on this side isn't actually working. This is why you test things. This is definitely why you test things. That goes to there, excellent. Uh, our on is going to... Oh, no, wait, this is... What? Where's up going? Okay, so up, it's all wrong. Up needs to go to here. On off goes to there. And now we're all good. There we go, I fixed it. This is why you test things. This is definitely why you test things. But you know what? That's fine. Now that we've got it, we're good. Move it outside. And I want to go ahead and drop the anchor down and hopefully all will go well. There we go. Oh, whoops. Whoops. There we go. Turn it all off. Excellent. Cabin light. There we go. Good. All right. Excellent. So now we throw this over the side and we press down. We also turn it on. All right, and now once that's done, we do this. Excellent. We drop this one down. Good. We turn this on. And then we do up a little tiny bit. We do up a little bit on this one. Until the boat moves. There we go. And now we are we are actually secure. Uh, at least from the back end. We don't have any anchors on the front, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close this door. We're going to close this door, and we are doing a test. All right, so if the weather gets worse... This is a good test to see whether our our anchors will actually keep us in the right place. Let's have a little look. Has the weather got really worse? No. <laughs> it's raining, but the weather hasn't actually got worse. We'll keep this door open so that we can see the waves. There we go. There's a few waves. They disappeared. Never mind. All right. The waves aren't doing anything. Another rescue service completed this mission. Who else is... What? Excuse me? What's happening? Alright, okay, so now it seems like we do actually have some bad weather. Let's go ahead and close this off. Uh, and we'll actually go into the camera mode and see what it looks like from the outside. So, the waves are hitting us. The back end isn't really moving. Not really. Uh, and the anchors are totally working for us. That's excellent. Nice. Alright, well anyway, that is pretty much all I wanted to do today. We've added the anchors, we've added the little hatches to get to the gun, we've added the extension to the gun, we actually did a mission today, we got an extra few thousand. Uh, what I do really, really want to do is, I want to be able to go to this dock and buy it. I want the North Harbour. Uh, as well as that, I would love to actually use the Frantico oil tanker, maybe update it a little bit, uh, to do some oil missions. We can actually transport some oil. Uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what we can do. But for now, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.